Welcome back everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. This is the uh, Diamond uh, HF 20 CL antenna for HF for 20 meters. And it's connected to a uh, Diamond uh, K400 38C2 mount. This thing is very nice. Um, it does a very great job in making sure not only is my antenna mounted to the car, but it does very nicely in terms of making sure the antenna is uh, electrically connected to the car somehow. We'll talk about that a little bit. Now, this antenna here, uh, as you can see, I'm unscrewing right there. Uh, this one, I put an adapter. Uh, this antenna is, doesn't have a 3.8. Um, male connection. I have the adapter there so that I can connect it to this particular mount which is again the K400 38C2. Now this this mount here I use it a lot for um, for my screwdriver antenna the Tar Heel uh, antenna uh, the 45A or the or the Wolf River coil believe it or not. And so this has been invaluable for that. And right here, I connect it um, this way. Now, I can open the drawer or the hatch back here. Okay. And uh, let's look at this mount very quickly. You can see that uh, it has four screws. Uh, this screw here in the end and this other screw are dig are dug inside it's passed through the paint and it's touching metal and this this one is really uh, the thing that's really making the connection to the car to the body of the car these here are holding this particular metal soft aluminum metal but it's pressing here very hard and it's making sure that is holding the whole unit um, I haven't tested the antenna in freeway conditions I'm sure it could hold, but I'm not going to test it. <laughs> I'm not ready yet to see if my antenna flies away. Um, so right now, it's only for, you know, activations where, or talking to somebody when the car is stopped. But anyway, I have a choke. This choke is specific for the frequencies that I'm using, the HF frequencies. Um, that did not come with the kit the mount kit, the Diamond K400. The, these little tabs that hold the wire did come with the kit. And I haven't figured out how to put this conduit back in yet. I will though, because water will go in there. And then it's gonna mess up the interior. I do have another antenna here for my a, uh, VHF. And this one is also a uh, K400S, which has this antenna here, my Diamond uh, CR32 something, let's see, 32, 320A. Uh, it does a pretty good job. I'm, I'm wondering if there's something even better. I'm pretty sure there is. And also there's a choke here. <coughs> okay. So, let's adjust the antenna, because uh, right now, with the radiating element, it's not going to resonate very well. Now, why is it called CL, center loaded? As you can see, this piece here, and I know this is very hard to see, but this piece here is not the antenna. It just lifts up the antenna, and then you have this coil here, right? And then this is the radiating element as well. Uh, so the antenna, the length of the antenna is right here as well. And to adjust the, the length of the antenna, because not all cars are equal, there's a screw right here. So I'm using this here to unscrew this. The antenna does come with an Allen wrench, but I like to use this instead. I unscrew this and then I can pop this out. When I pop it out, um, I can cut it. Now before I cut it, I, um, I did check the resonance and it wasn't that great. So 
what I did was I cut um, a quarter of an inch with these bolt cutters, uh, which are, you know, they're not the best bolt cutters in the world. These are Pittsburgh bolt cutters, and you can get those at, that's right, Harbor Freight. Now, why aren't they great? Because you can see, let me see, you can see already, right, that <laughs> cutting this wire nicked the, the, you know, the teeth of this. So the metal is kind of soft, but hey, um, you know, for ten dollars, it's it's worth it. It'll last me easily for another fifty cuts, maybe another twenty cuts for sure. Um, definitely, it's worth the money, and it's not like I'm going to cut several of these type of of uh, radiating elements. Okay, so. On the next part of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, look at Antscope using my rig expert and then finding out where this antenna resonates. And I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth, cutting a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch until I find the antenna to resonate where I want. Um, now, this is one way to mount uh, this particular antenna. And you can mount this via a, um, a one Mac mount. Three would be better. But one, you can put a, a, a Mac mount on the car and then see if, if it resonates that way. And then uh, you need to adjust the radiating element accordingly. Okay. So let's go inside the car, cut some wire, and then come back and uh, tell, find out until it resonates where I want it. All right, let's go inside. Okay, I'm in the car. Let's review. So I have the Diamond HF20CL, right? Uh, that's attached to the Diamond uh, K400 38s. I think it's C2. Um, so when I mount it that way, right, uh, compared to mounting it on a magnetic mount, I'm going to have different resonance. It's going to resonate differently because they're, they, because there's a different process. So this video, this video that you're seeing right now uh, from Antscope is before I cut about, I would say, less than a fourth of an inch. Probably a little, a little bit more a fourth of an inch, but close to a fourth of an inch. And you can see that I'm really close. I am really close. This bottom part is what I want down here, sort of, because I usually do voice. And as you can see, the voice is below three, but not below two. And this antenna seems to resonate at its bottom point, like less than two. So I have my rig expert. Um, my stick pro, it's turned on. I got it connected, uh, to the, um, I got it connected to the antenna out there. And then we're just going to find out, uh, how this is going to work. Okay. Let's see here. So I'm going to press on single and I'm going to find out where it is. I moved a little bit, but it didn't move enough. Now, as you can see, the pink one didn't move over. And let's see, it's in a lower place. We are at uh, SWR 2.4, right? Uh, 2.4 with a return loss of 7.5 with about 40 ohms, which is probably expected, but I thought it was gonna be a little bit lower than that. Now, in this situation here, I'm going to cut the antenna even more, probably another quarter inch. Now, why cut? Why not like, you know, why not make it longer the antenna? Why make it shorter? Because if you look down here in the frequencies, I want, my SWR to be shifted more 
to the right because this bottom point here is where I want it to be somewhere in this area between 14.2 and 14.3. I want that bottom area because I want it to resonate below two at the uh, right now at 14.3, which is the marine, the, the um, uh, maritime, mobile, mobile maritime marine, no marine maritime mobile uh, net, right? At 14.3, you can see that I'm getting a, uh, an SWR239, technically yes, in emergency you can use that, but I need to be, I need to be lower. Uh, so, because I'm going to the right in this graph, that means the frequency is getting larger, right? These numbers are getting larger. The frequency is getting larger, that means the, 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 the length is getting shorter. And because the length is getting shorter, I need my antenna to be shorter. And that's the key there. So I can cut a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut probably another quarter inch and see where it goes from there. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, now I cut, or I went over there and I cut another approximately quarter of an inch. Now we're going to scan. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. It's moving. As you can see. Now, if we look at the 14.3, uh, we're at 219 with a, look at that, a impedance of 45.16, way better. 219 is pretty acceptable. And I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we can even lower it down more. Okay, so this is the third cut that I did, another quarter inch. And let's see if it moved anymore. It did. You see that? Way better. Now, this is the bottom part right here, isn't it? Which is 1.5, 1.63. 1.63 seems to be, or 1.64, seems the lowest with an impedance of almost 80. No, yeah, 80. I mean, that's not too bad. Now, as you can see, uh, where SSB, you know, or oh, anything from a little bit left to 14.2 all the way to the end, let's say right here at 14.3, right? We have an SWR now of 1.99 uh, with an impedance of 50. Look at that, that's, that's really nice. Under uh, two is acceptable. And as you can see, if I wanted to keep it this way, I can probably leave it there. I mean, it covers the digital range. You see that? Uh, 1.82 at uh, uh, 13,998 or, you know, close to it. And then over here at the end, at 14,349, you got 216. So if I wanted to do digital, I think this would be acceptable. Over here towards the end, you got 216. I think I can cut this a little more. I re I truly want I'm going to be I'm going to be doing SSB. So, I'm not going to do any digital. Um so I can so this is at 1.64 over here is at 205. We're talking, you know, uh, almost a quarter. Is Does that make a real big difference? I think for efficiency, I think we need to, we need to get that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little more than, than a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to do maybe a half an inch. No, between a half an inch and a quarter of an inch. All right, let's try that. Okay, so this time... I cut a little more than a quarter of an inch. Let's see if I went too far. Hopefully not. All right, I'm going to press single here. There we go. All right, way better. Way better. Okay, so right here we got 163 at 70, 75.92 ohms. The Maritime Mobile Net close to 14.3. We got 1.72, and at the edge here, 
We got 1.86. I think this is reasonable. And if I ever want to do digital, I'm at two over here, which is not bad. So as you can see, I'll probably leave it here. I could probably push it and cut another quarter inch to get the 63, but 63 to 76 is not a lot per se. Definitely much better than this light pink color, which was in the two sevens. Or let me see, eh, very close to uh, maybe, maybe two, two five, two, yeah. Actually, all the way in the edge is probably two six, two seven, right? So you can see now from the pink all the way to this light red, it really made a big difference. Uh, in terms of cutting the wire. You gotta be patient when you do something like this. Um, you cut too much wire, you might, might not be able to come back from that. And if you, if you do cut too much wire, then sometimes uh, lifting the antenna uh, from the socket of, or the placement on the bottom portion, if you lift it up, maybe you can still get enough height if not, you're just going to have to buy another radiating element, which are not that expensive. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to um, drive over and uh, drive over to a uh, POTA and see, and see if I can activate a park with this and try, try the antenna out. Um, all right, so... I hope that was uh, something that uh, was useful and I hope, uh, uh, you know, you can get something out of it. Uh, if you like this content, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, thank you for the super thanks. I appreciate everyone contributing to that. I appreciate it. Um, and also, uh, have a great day. This is Frank, Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar.